All right, so y'all, this is number six out of uh, the homework for 2.7. So let me write that up here. This is number six from 2.7. And it says two functions f and g are related by a given equation. Uh, use the numerical representation of f to make a numer numerical representation of g. Okay, so we're going to make a table, right? So look, we already have our table for the original function here. Now, we're going to make a new table. I know they give us one here, but we're going to make our own table. So the first thing I want you to notice, inside that f, we have a negative x. So since this part here is inside, that means what we're doing is we're changing my x values, right? Okay, so I know they give me a table, but I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. So my new function g of x is f of negative x uh, plus 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now what we're going to do, since we have this, this negative inside, what we're really doing here, y'all, is we are changing the signs of those numbers. So when this used to be a negative 2, now it becomes a positive 2. When this used to be a negative 1, a positive 1. 0 is still 0, but that's now a negative 1, and that's now a negative 2. Okay? So look, we've done the first part. We have changed the x values, right? Okay, second part. See how we have that plus 2 on the outside? Since that part is on the outside, that means I'm now changing my y values. Okay? So how am I going to change my y values? Since it's a plus 2, we're going to add 2 to each of those y values. So 10 plus 2 would give me 12. Uh, 7 plus 2 would give me 9. 4 plus 2 would give me 6. 2 plus 2 would give me 4. And negative 1 plus 2 would give me 1. So this right here is what my table is going to look like. Now, I want you to look at my x values here. Do you see how this is 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2? Do you see how they have theirs, though? They have the negative 2 coming first, then the negative 1, then the 0, then the 1, then the 2. So we're going to fill ours in. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to say, look, when x is negative 2, y is the number 1. So right here, y'all, I'm going to put a 1. When x is negative 1, y is 4. So I'm going to put a 4 right there. Uh, when x is 0, y is 6, so I'm going to put a 6 right here. When x is 1, y is 9, so I'll put a 9 right there. And then finally, when x is 2, y is 12. So the numbers that I'm writing here are 1, 4, 6, 9, and 12. And to show you that I'm telling you the truth, let's see. Oh, man, I already forgot. What numbers? 1, 4, 6, 9, 12. Okay. So we're going to go 1. 4, 6, 9, and 12. And I'll check my answer, and we got it, okay? So if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help.